Hello, all my dear expats. And now that the complete concept of um, requesting, then proving, and then confirming is uh, clear for you, let's go on on the specific one by one request for information and further proofs of payments from the finance. And through each one of these letters, you will now come across with all of the different possibilities in your tax declarations where the financiant might want something else as explanatory from you. So let's go therefore first of all on this one here. In this income tax return 2021, this person explained the following, that this person moved after the beginning of January in 2021 to Germany. Therefore, in the financiant believes tax office believes he was earning some foreign income in his home country or in the country he was living before. So for this, now the finance wants to also take into consideration this uh, additional income for their taxes. And what will happen is if uh, this person was not generating any income in such country before coming to Germany, let's put as an example, this person came in July or in June or in April, doesn't really matter. As long as this person registered inside of the German city after January of every year, now that the Finanzamt would like to know what type of income he was uh, perceiving in this other country. For this, it says the following, the income tax filing of 2021 cannot be fully assessed because the until your immigration achieved income are going onto this concept called progressions for overhead, which means that they will also take it uh, into consideration for uh, calculating your full income in this year. So, so that it it's fully completed, we need this form. It's a special form where you can um, explain this income you were perceiving in this foreign country, available by the way, freely, into the published uh, forms in, from the Finanzamt. So it says also there is a copy for your own information and then the one that you have to supply them. So it's called the Anlage BAST and it is for all of the different years, 2021, 2020, all else. And now it follows up with uh, the until your immigration to Germany, all of these proofs of um, salary slips or the income tax returns from this foreign country where you were living, uh, also the consolidated income overview from your employer and all else. And with that, you're gonna explain what you are submitting into this um, Anlage BAST. Now, how do we fill this Anlage BAST? I will show it right away. How does it look in the end? Would be looking as this, this one. So it's the full form for 2020. Take a further look into it. Mm -hmm. And this is all we need to focus on for this. So going now directly to the form for 2021, this person is being requested for and how to fill it. Let's do this. So in here, the name of the person, right? So let's put, for example, that these are the Smiths. Smith, one more. If it's a joint tax declaration, that means that both of um, the married couple have to fill this. So let's put their names are Jane and Joe. Great. Tax number, as you know, that's not the same as your tax identification number, but rather that's the precise tax number assigned by your local tax office, which changes every time that you relocate. So let's put here as an example, this one. It is separated by these backslashes. So here we go, one, two, three, and one, two, three, four. No money, it looks like this. So pretty easy format. And now important is what we are gonna go and write in these fields over here. So 
what you would like to explain is following. We have the request for the income tax declaration. And what happens is you moved to Germany. Let's put in this example that you were living completely registered in this company since when your flight was in from your home country to Germany in the 1st of June, right? So that you would have to write in here, first of June. And because we are filing it and the German taxing year is until the 31st of December, we're also gonna write there that you have been living in the country until the 31st of December. So the 31st and December. Same for your wife, you came at the same time. So here the person B, same here, person B. There we go. Now we go following up. Now here on number six and number seven. Here we would be explaining about your foreign income. So meaning here, not the taxes, but actually the full gross income before taxes and before net being resulted. So in here, we would like to write, for example, you were in India, anything in your local currency, INRs or rupees, we would like to write here the value translated to euros. Let's put this as an example that in the time previously, before your arrival to Germany, until the end of May, that means you were earning some, let's say, euros, some 5,000 euros, these first five months, 1,000 euros per person, both you and your wife. Here is any extraordinary income you would also have to explain, but if you were not earning anything more than a wage, a salary, then there's no need for this. So any extraordinary income in here would go. Now, in this part, it's to end your uh, um, unlimited tax liability. And here you would be asked um, about this. Mir gehört im Zeitpunkt der Beendigung der unbeschränkte Steuerpflicht und Bezug eine Beteiligung an einer der Ausländische Kapitalgesellschaft Genossenschaft. So this is if you um, had in your possession capital society or um, incorporation, a corporation in your foreign country previously before coming here. So for most of the people, this would not apply. So for that, we could write in here, as you see, number one is yes, number two is no. So you can simply write in here two, which is no, would be applying for most of the cases. Now, let's go first also to this one. Im Zeitraum des zwischen Beendigung der unbeschränkte Steuerpflicht bis zur Ergabe der Einkommensteuerklärung 2021 lag mein Wohnsitz zumindest teilweise in einem niedrig besteuernden Gebiet. So, this would be if you would be living previously before arriving to Germany um, in a low or next to known tax country, which it would would explain, for example, one of these tax paradise in the Caribbean or so. But if you were living in India, for example, then that wouldn't apply because it's not a country without income taxes. So here we would also write a two, which is no. One for yes, two for no. Following up next, we see in this part over here, nur bei Personen ohne Wohnsitz oder gewöhnlichen Aufenthalt im Inland, die beantragen als unbeschränkt Steuerpflichtig behandelt zu werden. So as we're seeing, all of these are different cases where you can place yourself. And um, now, this person would be someone who is uh, not inside of a residence in Germany and which is requesting to anyway being um, considered as someone with full tax liability inside of Germany, which wouldn't be the case. Because as we see in the first part, you are arriving on this uh, date to the country and you are explaining about the income you were receiving outside of Germany. So in here, we would be able to write zero and zero because you actually have currently a residence in Germany. So in here, this, per, uh, this place over here would not apply. You can leave it empty, the number 10. And in the number 11, it says here, only for this specific case, which is not applying for you, we would write zero. You can also leave a, a line, which would explain it's not applying 
would be the same as well because this is only in a precise case if we are going on the situation of someone arriving in june to the country and now with a full-time employment contract it's not really your case because now you have a residence mm -hmm. so in, in here you can also leave this leave this one here empty so there we go let's also put this with a line which means it does not apply for your wife as well because we are talking about a married couple so because it's a married couple we would also need to fill in this part over here talking about two people getting a full-time employment mid-year in germany so that's the case with its expats and in this part as well it does not apply because it's explaining about what happened in the number 11 and the number 12 which we already marked with not applicable and extraordinary income in these times so here the specific case it says nur bei im eu ewr or europäische wirtschaftsraum ausland oder in der schweiz lebenden ehegatten lebenspartner so if your spouse is living inside of the european union while you're living in germany or also in switzerland norway and all else and here the next one nur bei Angehörigen des deutschen öffentlichen Dienstes ohne Wohnsitz oder gewöhnlichen Aufenthalt im Inland, die im dienstlichen Auftrag außerhalb der EU oder des europäischen Wirtschaftsraum tätig ist. Mainly if you are a public servant of Germany and you are living in another place in Europe, but also not applying to you as an expert. So in here, now we are coming to something which indeed we have to complete. Which is this part? It says the uh, taxes to be considered. And so, rest in the Steuer. So, Steuerabzugsbeträge nach 50a, Einkommensteuergesetz, and Solidaritätszuschlag zu Zeile 6. What else here? Steuerabzugsbeträge nach 50 Absatz 7, Einkommensteuergesetz und Rentenbezugsmitteilung und Solidaritätszuschlag zu Zeile 18. So, what else? What are they requesting from us in here? Is how many taxes you were paying from this income over here? both on your side and both of you, on your spouse's side in your residence when you were still living in your home country. So let's put as a simple example that both of you were earning the same type of income, 2,500 and 2,500, summing up to 5,000 euros. And the taxes that you had to pay for this amount were, let's say 1,000 euros in total. So 500 euros for this person and then the other 500 euros for your spouse. That's it. So 5,000 euros of income, gross. Then the taxes, 500 euros for each. 1,000 euros in total, 4,000 euros net. And this would only be applying for a specific case because the Germany has this solidarity tax, but then most of other countries do not. So therefore we could write here in, in this place, simply zero and zero so zero over here and zero over there this other part is not applying we were already explaining how much taxes you paid and this is a specific case not applicable so we can simply go over here and put a line so it's not applicable both for you and also for your spouse over here and in uh, this final section, and we do have to write something, which is in which address were you registered previously before your immigration to Germany to get your full-time employment. And this in the case of your husband, so person A, and in case of the spouse, wife, person B. So in this, let's put that they were living together in their home country. I'm gonna make an example here with some address in Mumbai, India. So, so I'm gonna write here some address Mumbai. Same for this. Same for her. And let's put here 
as a state where this happened. Let's put it in German, Indian. Here we go. Indian here. And also Indian there. So from which times were you living there? Of course, logically, if we are explaining that this person came here from the 1st of June and stayed until the 31st of December, which is the taxable year in Germany, we would like, because we're talking about the taxes since the 1st of January, to say, therefore, that this person is here since you completed with me the 1st of January and, of course, until the 30th of May. This person came on the same day in Germany, and he was on the same day in both countries because he flight in the morning and came in the afternoon. Could also be the case. Then we would we would also be able to put here the first of June. But let's go simply with saying that this person was until the thirtieth of June in India, perceiving this income over here and paying these taxes both the husband and the wife over there. So. We can copy and we can paste this so that it applies also for the wife. There we go. And with that, everything will be complete because you see here it says, Länder bezogener Bericht, multinationale Unternehmensgruppen, ich habe ein inländisches Unternehmen. So if you have a company inside of the country and um, you do not, will apply to most of the cases, expat employees. Do not have them. Um, you don't have to write anything because it's only one if it applies to you. Yes. And what else here? Mitteilung von Grenzen überschreitende Steuergestaltung. Ich bin die erste Nutzer einer Grenzen überschreitende Steuergestaltung, deren Steuervorteil sich mehrmals im Jahr 2021 auswirken soll. Für diese wurden mir folgende Registernummer, Offenlegungsnummer zugeteilt. Not really applying to you. It's a, a specific constellation where uh, there are um, tax designs in uh, so applying in border wise between countries uh, mostly not relevant for most of the experts and if we are talking about a simple case as we were explaining on these experts who came as a married couple to enter a full-time employment in germany on the first of june that would be the way how you feel this unlucky the ist and with that you would be able to fully submit this letter, which is the only part missing from the tax office, and then receive your tax confirmation and therefore also your tax return wired to your bank account. Uh, as you see here, how do you explain all of this unlike VIST, which we just saw, with all of your salary slips, tax filing, income tax return, and all type of uh, proofs of income and taxes paid you did in the form from your home country. And with that, we would be finished with this further explanation from the tax office.